Hello, hello. We are back today with Secret Lair Sunday um, here on Pete's Packs. And uh, today we are doing the Showcase Neon Dynasty uh, Neon Ink Edition. This was from right around the release of uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, I believe. I um, don't remember exactly when it came out, but I know it's been a few months. Um, so let's see what we got in here. I know there's some really neat things. I have no idea what the promos are for these, um, but I do know that these cards are gorgeous, uh, which is why I actually got back into the Secret Lair series. So... Let's see what we have here. Oh, our light is off. There we go. So it looks like our front card is a yellow ink thing. Oh, okay. Panharmonicon. A foil schematic. Did not know that was an option, but I will take it. And Harmonicon was actually one of my favorite cards from uh, the whole Kaladesh run. Um, so that's really cool. But let's see what's in here. So our face card is, of course, this really awesome version of Ghostly Prison. It is foiled, but it's kind of hard to tell that there's foiling. Let's see, next one is Freed from the Real. Really cool art there. And still sees play in a number of um, combo decks and Popper. We have Buseju, who shelters all. Now, I know this doesn't see as much play, but back when I was playing a Nauseam combo, it was a core piece. The Nauseam combo is one of my favorite uh, modern decks. I, I don't know that it's even viable anymore, but that'd be cool. And then Hall of the Bandit Lord. Okay. So from what I understand, this is an EDH staple. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't play a lot of EDH. But the neon ink process is absolutely fantastic. And that's what they all look like together. Let's see if we can get a slightly better view of them. Yeah. So let's see what our promo is in the, in the other four. Or the other three, rather. Go ahead and quick open these. Do have to be a little faster today because I have a Christmas get together. Um, with friends, and I have bread baking. And our second one, we have, of course, our pack and a brood sliver for the promo. Now, they did do a set of slivers for these. Uh, they're all borderless foils, from what I understand. Hopefully that didn't just get damaged. Like, I like that they went for a more minimal packaging kind of thing. And this was sort of during that transitional period when they first started to reduce their packaging from the original Secret Layer set, which just had way too much. Um, but I feel like these tabs hold a little more 
firmly than I would really like. But, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, and our third one, we have a Ornithopter schematic. Now, keep in mind these predate the Brothers War schematics um, and are completely different art from what was in Brothers War. And from what I understand, some of these are very collectible. Um, by collectible, I mean expensive. So. Wizards has been throwing that term around a lot lately without really seeming to understand what it means. But yeah, so we got originals, we got an ornithopter, a panharmonicon, and a brood sliver. And in the last one, we have. What do we have? I have a two-headed sliver, which gives all slivers menace. Okay. I, I still don't... I'm gonna come up, coming out the front, it seems like I'm going to damage the card, but it seems like probably the least invasive method. All right. So, yeah. Got some cool promos. I have a set of beautiful cards that the Ghostly Prisms I know will see use. Because um, I, I do play play those in a couple of formats. Uh, Free from the Real probably go in one of my Popper decks. The Besaju and the Hall of the Bandit Lord? I don't know. We'll probably sit in a book for 20 years and then I'll <laughs> you know either trade them or throw them off, but overall a very cool set. And I kind of wish that they did more than just the neon yellow. Um, I mean, of course, there's the Hidetsugu promo that's got like the purple and red and I think either blue or green, something like that. Um, but I, I wish they had done a little more with the neon, um, the neon inks, you know, cause like for instance, uh, farewells, I would have loved to have a set of neon ink farewells. Um, but that probably will never happen, <laughs> but yeah, so we got really cool secret layer today and uh if you like what we're doing here don't forget to like share comment and subscribe uh let me know in the comments what your favorite uh what your favorite card from neon dynasty was uh, i know it's been out for a while my personal favorite i think is farewell um, you know a lot of really great ones out there but I, I've gotten the most use out of Farewell so far. Um, Reality Circuit Hacker actually gives Farewell a, a pretty good run for its money in my mind. And then Fable of the Mirror Breaker, of course, is just broken in a number of formats now. So, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, also... Until the end of the year, we are doing a big push to get to 100 subscribers. Um, and if we hit 100 subscribers before the ball drops on New Year's Eve, uh, I will be giving away a Brothers War gift bundle to a random subscriber. So if you would like to help with that, um, share this with your friends, family, coworkers, neighbors, you know, anyone that you think would get a kick out of it and uh hopefully i'll be able to give away a um a gift bundle to someone because that would be really fun so until next time this was our secret layer sunday series 
Again, I do these every Sunday, and we're set up for a while. Uh, thanks for joining me on this adventure. We'll see you next time. Bye.